here's Sears. Walmart, 7.30. Kahului, Maui. So some people said they came at 4.30 and they had to leave because it's too crowded. I'm not going to stand there for no. anything. No. Okay, let's go. Okay. We're on our way to the mall, Queen Kaumanu Center. 10 o'clock. Parking lot's full, Black Friday. Christine's Gourmet Black carrots. Friday shopping. We call it yeah. gourmet carrots. Okay. Look at these beets. Yeah, I've never, I knew that carrots came in like all different colors, but I've never yeah. seen them. Yeah, I got a nice little selection there. Hey guys, today I'm going to be sniveling and sneezing and ugh. I better try that again. Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing kind of like a two-in-one video this time around. It's going to be a Black Friday haul and monthly favorites. But this is going to be like more than just monthly favorites. This is like obsessions. This is, you know, all kinds of stuff that I've just been really, really obsessed with lately. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, I went to Wet Seal, so I'll show you that first. Um, and actually, let's see, did I get this scarf there? Okay, I think this, no, no, this one's from Forever 21, I think. Yeah, um, let's see here. I got this at Wet Seal. I've got everything all jumbled up here. And, okay, one of my obsessions is, like, Tiffany blue mint sort of colors this winter. I don't, I don't know what it is. It just finally just hit me, and that's what I'm into. As you can see, my nails are also in that. So, like, the whites... The kind of oatmeal colors and the Tiffany blue mint colors, I'm like all about that. Oh, and kind of like tan and maybe a little bit of brown. Just really soft kind of earth and ocean colors. That's, that's what I meant to. Like earth and tropical water colors. So anyways, um, I did get a sweatshirt because I've got some, you know, older sweatshirts that are getting kind of raggedy. So I'm going to be going to iMats, which I'm super excited about in January, which means I haven't been to the mainland like in a couple of years, so I'm, my body is like so not going to be acclim acclimated, acclimatized, whatever that is, to uh, the cold weather there. I don't know how cold, how cold it's going to be, but I'm, I'm kind of nervous about it because I don't really have uh, the right kind of clothing to wear in the cold weather. So I did get a sweatshirt. It looks really plain right here. It just says love on the front and it's got sequins. This is the part that I liked. Well, the color for one I love, but it's got like this heart with sequins and it was just a cute sweatshirt in that kind of mint color that I've been looking for everywhere. So I got that at Wet Seal um, and then I went to Forever 21 which I got this scarf at. So it's just kind of like a gauzy kind of scarf with um, like sparkles in there. So that's what I've had like another obsession with is scarves and they have to be the Tiffany blue kind of mint color. They got to fit into my color scheme that I'm doing this one here. So, I have this one that I have on, of course, and then I got one that's more blue. Um, so this was actually a different style. So I've got two different styles here. This is like a gauzy, like a different type of fabric. And then this one's kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's also kind of gauzy, but it's a little bit, um, I don't know, not as lightweight, I guess. Like this is a little lighter. And so that one was just another pretty one. So that one's got the fringe on the bottom. Anyways, scarves. I'm like hugely into scarves this winter. Then I got this one, which is a gorgeous champagne with kind of like champagne sparkle to it. It's just so pretty. I just love that. So same kind of style with the fringe along the edge there. And I love it. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. Actually, you know what? Let me try it on right now and see how it looks. Okay, I don't, I don't love it with the white, but like with a colored top, in fact, maybe like a mint or Tiffany blue top, then this would be like a nice clash. So that was Forever 21, and I did go to Jean's Warehouse, which is, I don't know if they're on the mainland or not. I think they might just be Honolulu and um, Maui, so I don't know, it might just be Hawaii store. So I, I went there anyways. So these... These brands, I'm sure, are all over the place, though, because they get most of their stuff from L.A. anyway, so I'm sure it's available somewhere. Um, so this is Active Basic, which actually is the brand of most of the tank tops that I like to wear. 
and it's just um, kind of one of those like sort of like light teal, like a really soft tropical teal. Um, so anyways, and it's got like the waffle knit. So yeah, just basics. I know my clothing is like never like super exciting because I'm just really, really basic. I think I'm like probably, I feel like I'm one of the most plainest people on YouTube. Like, like seriously, like I'm so like unexciting with my clothing, but what can I do? I mean, it's me. I love it. I love it though. So it's just how I am. It's how I've always been. Um, and then of course shorts, jean shorts. I'm all about ripped up, torn up jean shorts. So there we go. Those are also from, let's see, well, Jeans Warehouse, but they are California by Reflex. Anyways, so there you go. And then I also went to Old Navy and found three more basics, just basic long sleeve shirts. These are from their, I guess their perfect, perfect crew, perfect crew neck. And I think I have one that's like a V-neck too. So there we have, yes, very exciting, <laughs> I know. So here's the V-neck. So you can see the colors. That's what I'm really trying to show you is like the colors that I'm really excited about. Now this peach color, uh, Michael really liked it. So I got it cause, well, I like it. I like peach tones on me in general, but he really liked it. So I just, I got it too since he enjoyed it. So that is just a peach long sleeve. So really it's the colors. So if I hold up these colors, you can get an idea of the direction I'm going. So, you know, see, yeah. So kind of like earth, tropical water, kind of refreshing sort of colors with sometimes a pop of tropical, I don't know, hibiscus flower thrown in. Oh, and then I did place an order online on folica.com, which is like that hair website, like got all kinds of hair tools and stuff. It's my first time I've ever placed an order with them, but they were having like $25 off of your order. So I was like, ah, oh, I can't pass that up because I've been looking in stores for an epilator. And so I got an epilator, I think it's called Imjoy. That's, that's what I call it anyways. I don't know if, how you pronounce it, but it looks like Imjoy Imagine. So that's what I ordered and I'm hoping it arrives soon because I can't wait to try it out. I can't wait to be hairless for Christmas. That's all I want for Christmas this year is just to be hairless. So I hope you guys have had a fabulous week, fabulous holidays if you celebrate, uh, or if not, hopefully you just had an awesome week and shopping, Black Friday, all of that. Now time to move on to current favorites, or wait, current obsessions. I have always loved argon oil for my hair and I've, I've used it regularly for, I don't know, years now. And then I got into my oils, as you know, so I was testing out with a bunch of different oils and I discovered avocado oil for your hair is like freaking unbelievable. Like it matches argan oil, if not better. So I just wanted to mention that. I was gonna save this and just show you in, I have like an upcoming hair video planned uh, to do, but I wanted to show you right away because this is truly an obsession for me, avocado oil. And let's see, this does have vitamin E in it, which helps preserve it. Um, but anyways, this is like liquid gold for your hair. It just makes it so soft and so, uh, just like so soft, so shiny, and I don't know, I mean, I can tell that my hair just, it looks healthier when I use this. Uh, even though I've used argan oil forever, I just feel like this might be better. And it's cheaper too. Since we're on the topic of oils, I do wanna share four with you. These are like my top four most reached for oils for my skin, for my face. So rosehip oil, uh, for carrier oils, I'll show you those first. Rosehip oil and tamanu oil. And then for essential oils, frankincense, and of course my desert essence, uh, tea tree and lavender oil blend. So those are my top four oils for um, the skin, for you know skincare. People ask me, what is your favorite type of clay? Because you guys know I'm really into different, you know, I'm into clay, clay masks, clay in general, you know, it's really good for your skin. It's good for pulling out that gunk out of your pores and all of that nonsense. So this is the Moroccan red clay powder. And this is my favorite clay. Like I've got, I've got bentonite clay, you know, the, the um, Aztec secret Indian healing clay. 
what is the other one? The European, now has another one, it's called like European Green Clay. This is still my favorite of all of those. Next, I have two sunscreens that I have loved for several months now, and they're basically like an everyday staple. So these are my absolute favorite must-have natural sunscreens, all natural sunscreens. So I have two here. They're both by Devita. Um, one is for the face and one is for the body. So this is the Solar Body Block SPF 30. This one for the face is Solar Protective Moisturizer SPF 30. So, and you can see it's all beat up. I keep that one in my purse and the car and it's like always with me 24 seven. These are both like definitely my go-to sunblocks. We finally made it to the makeup products, which I'm excited to share with you these items because they're not only just favorites for the past month, they're, they've been favorites like since the day that I purchased the product, you know? It's like holy grail of all time kind of products sitting right here. And I actually want to do a video where I'm focusing just kind of on, on that like all time favorites but um, I've, I've just picked out like a few of my favorites here. So let me go ahead and start with false lashes. I personally love lashes. I, they're just fun. And at first, you know, I struggled with them like pretty much everyone does. Get glue all over my eye and all, all kinds of fun stuff. The lashes like going like that and getting glue up there. It's good times. But then once you get the hang of it, they're, they're like the funnest thing in the world. Funnest isn't a word, but I use it all the time. I, I don't know why, I just can't break that habit. So these are Miss Adoro lashes. Miss Adoro is my favorite brand of false lashes. Um, they're just really easy to work with. They're really flexible. Um, they're really easy to clean off the band afterwards and you can get lots of uses out of them. I get like 10 uses out of these, um, you know, give or take. Sometimes I, you know, screw them up a little earlier, but usually around 10. So these are the Miss Adoro 747, um, medium length, I guess that is. And then we have the Miss Adoro number 43s, which I wear all the time. I'm wearing these today, actually. So these are, these are long. These are some dramatic lashes here, but they're, they're fun. So these ones are really cool though. Those look really pretty and kind of light and feathery and these are just like two gorgeous sets of lashes there. And then my favorite foundation and way I like to apply it is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus and this is number 35. And my favorite way to apply it is with this brush here. This is my Sedona Lace 480 and it's dirty as you can see. I need to wash it but it's the cutest. It's like just, ooh, it's just one pinch its little cheek. It's like as cute as a button there. It's just so adorable. It just gets like in those little areas. It's like, it's one of those buffer brushes. It's like super tight and densely packed, but it's like small enough to, you know, get around like those hard to reach little areas, you know? So freaking love that brush for applying this foundation. Favorite under eye concealer has to be my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Natural. This has been a favorite ever since I purchased it like two years ago. And I haven't hit pan on it yet. I have used it so much, but I just can't believe it. I've got a good dent going there. So I gotta hit pan sometime, but this is a favorite. You know, I've tried all kinds of concealers. Even since I purchased this one, I've purchased other concealers and I just, they just never quite live up to this one's performance. Favorite eyeliner and eyeshadow. For eyeliner, it has to be my Stila Eye Cajol in Onyx, which I have a little nub here. It's It's gotta go sometime. Like, I've been using this thing like crazy and it's still hanging on there. So I've got a little bit left of it, but that is Onyx. That's what I always do. Um, like, I'm wearing it today. That's how I get, like, the big thick line or, you know, I keep it thin and then I wing it out really thick and smudge it out. Uh, I just, I like that look. I like that look on my eye because I have small eyes and I like to, you know, kind of elongate. And this is awesome for elongating your eye and smudging out. And then I can set it with my black eyeshadow and I'm good to go. Uh, so for eyeshadow... This is also what I'm wearing today, and I've been wearing this a lot this month. And just this, nothing else. So, like, that's all I have on today. So I just have my Stila Eye Cajol in Onyx, and this is Bobbi Brown Taupe. And the person that I saw first wearing this, um, just all over her lid, and it just looked so beautiful, was Vanessa from the Bombshell Suite. And I can actually blame her for making me go out and purchase this. Not blame, you know, I'm just kidding. But I can, she's the one who inspired me to go out and get this because it just looks so freaking beautiful on her. And she has kind of like a tan skin tone, so I thought, oh, hey, maybe that'll look good on my skin tone too. So I'm really, really happy with this, and I've loved this since I purchased it. The day that I purchased it, I fell in love with it. It's just a really special color. And it's like a, a taupey, like a rich tan taupe. It's like one of those Victoria's Secret sort of colors. It's just, ugh, oh, just beautiful. So that's what I'm wearing all over my lid, and that's it. 
so just one color. So for one color that I'm able to wear on my lid, which usually I look kind of weird if I just go with one color all over, but this one works every time. So that's why it's like HG holy grail status eyeshadow for sure. Oh, I almost forgot, I am wearing um, just like a cream, like shimmer eyeshadow just right at the tear duct area, which is Bobbi Brown Bone. Um, so yeah, so I guess I'm wearing two eyeshadows, but all over my lid is taupe and yeah. So I, I enjoy doing um, just a quick, easy look like this. I think this might be like my go-to look maybe all winter. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, for face, I have one bronzer, which has been a favorite. Actually, what I'm going to show you here, the bronzer and the blushes, you're, you're probably going to be, like if you've been with me for a while watching my videos, you're going to be like so bored with me because I, I show the same bronzers, same blushes over and over again. But that just shows, I feel that that shows like how much, like how good the products are, how much I love them, you know, like how much I think they're worth it. And the bronzer is Benefit Hoola. And I love this for a very long time. If you're looking for, now this isn't for everyone, but if you're looking for the coolest tone kind of bronzer that you can find. This is one of the cooler tone ones. Now for blushes, one of my favorites is MAC Melba. I've been wearing this a ton this month and it's just that beautiful natural look. I've really been into the really soft cheeks, like no bright pinks, just like really soft kind of neutral colors. Um, so this is a really nice neutral kind of, um, you know, soft peach color. And then I have two by Tarte, the Amazonian Clay Blushes. These are the ones that I like to, they've probably been like in every single favorites video that I've ever done. I don't know, I feel like it anyways. So I know I bore you guys to death with these, but they're freaking amazing, what can I say? Uh, Tarte did an awesome job. So this is Blissful and this is Exposed. These are my two favorites. I think I have two or three others, but these, these are my top two go-tos. So for lip liner, um, these are, my babies here. These are two Victoria's Secret lip liners. Loved them since I purchased them. This is Nude and Ginger Spice. And I don't know, I, you probably can't really see the color very well and I, I don't want to get all swatched up right now at the moment. But Nude, just a basic nude. I'm wearing it right now. Ginger Spice is more of a, a mauve nude. So it's like a dusty, yeah, mauve nude. So those are my most reach for lip liners probably. Those and maybe Too Faced Perfect Lips. Yeah, I, I kind of just alternate in between those two. And then speaking of Too Faced, I do have one of their beautiful gold cased lipsticks. And this is Nude Beach. I'm wearing this one today and I've worn it like a ton ever since I got it like a couple months ago. So it is a beautiful nude um, with like a hint of pink. It's like kind of a cool tone nude. So just really, really pretty, really easy to wear, and I love those easy to wear nudes. It's like not, it's not like wash you out nude, it's just like beautiful natural nude. And I have two lipsticks by Victoria's Secret. These are from their Color Drama line, and I think the packaging is cute too. I just, I like the pink down there, it's just cute. And I have Absolute, Absolute and Incognito. So Absolute is the one that's a little more um, nudey. It's looking like darker on camera for some reason, but it's just a nude, like kind of like a basic nude, maybe with a little hint of peach to it. Like if you were to compare it to say the Too Faced, um, the Too Faced Nude Beach, that one is a little bit cooler and this one has, you know, it's just a touch warmer and it has a little bit more peach to it. Um, now this one, Incognito, is one that I was totally obsessed with for a really long time. And this one is one of those mauve nudes. It reminds me a lot of MAC Faux, which was one of my all-time favorite MAC lipsticks. So that is another gorgeous, dusty, mauve nude color. And I guess that's it. Oh wait, I have one lip, uh, lip gloss, which is Buxom White Russian. And yeah, that's, I don't know if I need to show you. I've, I mean, I've shown this, I know, a ton of times too. But it is a beautiful nude. My all-time favorite lip gloss right now. I love everything about it. Oh, they smell delightful. They smell like dessert, like a vanilla truffle or something. So I hope you guys found this fun, and I don't know if you found it fun. I found it fun. I hope you guys had fun with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed at least the, the information and um, you know, seeing products and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you again soon.